So as you see, this is my Rhino screen, Grasshopper screen, and this is a Boolean toggle. Let me delete this first. So what is a Boolean toggle and where I can find it? Let's start with where I can find it. So you can double click and say toggle, and you can see the Boolean toggle, or you can go to prompts under input, you can grab a Boolean toggle. Boolean toggle is a component which, which has information related to being false or true. If you double click to this black area, you can switch it false to true, false to true, and so on and so forth. This, we'll be using this in many different kind of cases to show you what they are being like used for. However, I wanted to show you how the computer understands this. This basically means if I grab a pound, if I connect this to here, it's false, right? And if I copy this and paste underneath, what I'll be seeing is true. So what we see here is basically true and false, but it also can be described with numbers or numeric values. So when we connect this false value to a number, maybe I can make this a bit smaller and then connect it over here. Okay. And then pull out another panel. What I'll be seeing is this is going to be zero, right? And if I do the same thing for this one, control C, control V to copy this and paste. What I'm seeing is basically this is true. True meaning one. Okay. So in any kind of operations in which we need these kind of booleans like trues or falses, we can always use numeric values for uh, to replace them as well. But are they really limited to zeros and ones? They're not really. So if I take this aside, group this, and take this aside if i do the other way around so if i connect a slider let's say zero and then if i grab a panel and then if i put that panel in i'll be seeing the same value but if i convert this panel or if i convert this number into a boolean if i go under geometry under uh, sorry under primitive if i grab a boolean component which is an empty one. And if I copy and paste this panel, what I'll see is it's false, right? And if I do the same, copying this and pasting it, if I do, if I put any number that is larger or different than zero, you'll see that it turns into true. Even like when we test, let's test this with minimum like minus five. And if we take this to minus five, you see it still gets sort of a true value because when we change this something from zero, like change it to something from zero, it will always be true. And we'll be talking about, like I'll be talking about a couple of exercises where we can use this information to create sort of uh, geometric distinctions, uh, maybe separations and so on and so forth. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. And in the next one, I'll be talking about how we can apply this for multiple data and see you in the next video.